it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're working on multiplying rates. You might remember in an earlier lesson we learned all about rates, right? We talked about unit price and speed and exchange rates for currencies. Well, sometimes we need to set up uh, a, a situation where we need to multiply that rate to get our answer. Here's what I mean. So I have a problem here for you. Let's work it out. If chicken costs $9 for 12 ounces, how much does it cost for 16 ounces? Okay, so how we do this, we start with what we're looking for. We're looking for 16 ounces, the cost of it. So let's write 16 ounces down. And we're gonna multiply it by the rate that we have in our problem. What's our rate? Well, our rate is that it's $9 for 12 ounces. Or you could say 12 ounces costs $9. Now the reason I say it backwards and forwards like that is it matters how you place it on the page for your problem. Here's what I mean. You want to put your rate as we know a rate is a fraction, but you want to put your uh, label, the same label that you have in your problem, you want to put it on the bottom. So we're going to do ounces to dollars. The reason being is later we're going to need to cross out when we simplify that label. So let's fill it in. We're looking for $9 for 12 ounces. Well, now let's simplify. One of the things we're going to simplify is the label. We're going to leave ounces or cross ounces out. Now, can we simplify anything else? Yeah, we can simplify the 12 and the 16. Four goes into both of them. So here we go with the three. Here we go with the four. Now, what do we have? Oh, we still can simplify again. We've got a three and a nine. Three and a nine. What are we left with? Four times three. And what is the label? Our label is dollars. It's the only label that's left. So how much does it cost? Twelve dollars. Here's another example. I've changed up my problem just a bit so we're looking for something else. If chicken costs nine dollars for twelve ounces, how many ounces can I get for twenty-seven dollars? Okay, we start by writing what we're looking for. We have the $27, and we're gonna multiply it times our rate. So remember before I said our rate is $9 for 12 ounces or 12 ounces for $9, it's the same, but it depends on how you put it on the page. You make your fraction, but your rate always goes where your label that you want is down here on the bottom. So we're gonna put dollars on the bottom, ounces on the top. And now let's fill in. $9 for 12 ounces. Same rate, but this time we've, we've flipped it, right? We've put it upside down. Now let's go ahead and simplify. The first thing we're gonna simplify are the labels. I'm gonna cross out my dollar sign here, cross out my dollar sign here. Now let's do the numbers. Nine goes one time, 27 is three times. Let's multiply. 3 times 12 is 36, and what is our label? The only label we have left is ounces. So we can get 36 ounces for $27. Let's try another example. For every five students, we can form three groups. How many groups can we form with 155 students? We start by writing down what we're looking for. So we've, we, we're, we have 155 students. I'm going to write my label with it. I'm going to multiply it times my rate, but I'm going to put the student part on the bottom. So it's going to be students to groups. And for every five students, we form three groups. Now let's simplify. We start by simplifying the labels. Students to students. And now we have five to 155, which is going to be 31. Multiply across. 31 times 3, I'm going to write it down here, is going to be 93. And what's left as far as a label? Groups. Nice. And that's it. It's that simple. As long as you start with what the information they gave you, you multiply it times the rate, but in the correct order where you can cross out that label, you're going to be golden every time. Make sure you try the practice problems to make sure you can do this on your own. Okay, that's it for me. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.